Who did that? And they are the same people who dangle that carrot in front of your face. So that that's what you look to. Read it again. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together. Our nation not desire. Uh -huh. Before the decree bring forth. The decree is that the Lord is coming back and destroying this filthy country. Right. He's destroying, he's wasting this place very soon. Very soon the things that are happening in the earth were written in the Bible thousands of years before it happened. About the end. And we're in the end right now. That's where we at right now. The end. The Lord is about to waste all of this. Right. Ain't gonna be no brick left. It's all gonna be dust and ashes. Right. So before that happened, the Lord said, gather yourselves together. Gather yourselves together. Yeah, gather together the old nation not desired. Before the decree bring forth. Now, we went over killing and it being a time for that, right? Give me Zephaniah 8. Was that it on there? Just a little bit more. Finish that and then give me Zephaniah 8. Before the decree passed as the time, before the fierce anger of the Lord. Because the Lord said, you think he's sitting here watching this and he just, man. He's watching all this happening to our people. He watching George Floyd. He watching y'all run around acting a muck out here. He watching that. He's mad as hell. So we gotta change and we gotta come back together. We gotta come back to who we actually are, which is greater than what they gave us after they raped us. Yeah, they was raping the boys too. Do your research. Yeah, but we mad at each other. We hate each other. Yeah, we gotta do our research on who your real enemy is. What? Right. And you, you don't have enough power to do as much evil has been done to you. Right. Your brother ain't did or can't do in a lifetime all the evil that they done did to you already. And your mothers, and your fathers, and your brothers. Right. Come on. Before the fierce anger of the Lord come, on. come upon you. Uh -huh. Before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. And it's coming. You mean Zephaniah, Zephaniah 8. No, 3. I'm sorry, 3. Zephaniah 3. Watch this. So, yes, it's a time to kill. It's not yet. Our time right now is the time to heal. The nation of Israel, we got the hill. And the way to do that is to come back to the commandments of God. That's how you do it, three and eight. No, start at verse three. No, start at verse three. Yes, sir. The book of Zephaniah, chapter three, verse eight. Come on. Therefore, wait ye upon me, says the Lord. Read it again. Well, therefore, wait ye upon me. Because you know what happened when I first, when I first woke up to this. When I first come up out the street, you know what happened? I say, well, hold on. Who did what to me? I say, I'm who? Who am I? What y'all talking about? And you wake up and you understand, hold on. This is, then you start learning your history. You start to think and remember all that stuff happened now, right? And it make you mad as hell. Hold that, give me Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. You start to get mad as hell. I ain't no, I ain't met a pink person that's, that, that, that can do me. Then I can't, you know, you understand what I'm saying? Ain't no pink man gonna do it with me. You gonna have to kill me. Yeah, that's how that have to go, right? Watch this. Ecclesiastes, chapter seven, verse seven. Come on. Surely oppression make it a wise man mad. So now this Bible wake me up. It's all that I go through, I say, damn, that's why that's happening? Wow, that's what that means? Why I ain't never been taught that? I ain't know that, ain't nobody told me I was the greatest thing on this earth. Right. How? And then I understand I was raised in church. My mother was raised in church. My father was raised in church. And churches are set up by the so-called white man. Right. You know? To teach us lies, to keep us never knowing who we actually are. So what we do, hate each other and hate ourselves because we're nothing. We open the greatest book in the Bible and don't know that we're in there. We, I got to put the book down. It don't pertain to me. It don't, it, what I got to do with that? Well, how that's gonna help me out here? How with this? I, I walk away from it. But now somebody didn't taught me, somebody didn't show me that's me in there. Somebody didn't show me and made me understand that happened to me. That's me. That happened to my people. Right. And it's still happening to this day. Right. right. And it make you mad as hell. Read that again. Verse seven. Surely oppression make it they wise man mad. Because this Bible make you wise. It teaches you things that happened to you before you were, what's your name? Jamal. Before you was Jamal. It teaches you what happened to you. It teaches you what's going to happen after you, Jamal. It teaches you all that, and it makes you mad as hell if you accept it. 
mad as hell. Cause some, not everybody except some people walk away from it. Oh well, that was a cool story, I'm out. That's what some people do with it. But if you accept it, it makes you mad. Go back to where we was. So the Lord gotta tell us, wait, wait on me. Wait ye upon me. Don't do it, I know you mad son. I know you mad baby girl, but just wait on your father. Just wait, I got you, watch what I do. That's what the Lord said. In this book, we ain't got enough hours in the day left to show y'all all, all the, the, the revenge the Lord gonna do in this place for what's been done to his babies. Right. We ain't got enough time tonight. But he ain't he ain't watching this happen. He ain't watching this with a, uh, we're talking about some men. No, he he, he, make it, he got an oath in here, what he promises to do and allow us to do also. Right. Watch this, read that now, let's get over there in the last one. Yes, sir. Then we're gonna close out. The book of Zephaniah, chapter three, verse eight. Come on. Therefore, wait ye upon me. So he says, therefore, wait ye upon me. Therefore, wait ye upon me. Go ahead. Saith the Lord. Come on. Until the day that I rise up to the prayer. Until the day that he rise up to the prayer. The Lord is coming to the, the God that created everything is your father. We know because we think we Africans. No, our homeland, yes, it's in Africa. We get that Africa too before we close out. Yes, sir. Uh, Ephesians. I mean Galatians, Galatians 4 and 26, yeah, right? That's right. Jerusalem is our homeland system. Right? And the aunt comes from a comes from a deity which which uh is a symbol of a penis and a vagina. A phallus and a vagina. That's what that is. That's what the unk represents. And it's supposed to represent life. But I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna show read that and then get Deuteronomy 32, 39 real quick. Yes, sir. Then get um the other one. Yes, sir. Verse 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me. So we say, wait ye upon me. Come on. Saith the Lord. Come on. And said the day that I rise up to the prey. To the day that he rise up to the prey. All they that prey on us. All they that destroy us, he's gonna rise up and he's gonna come and lay his people down. He's gonna destroy them. Go ahead. For my determination. For his determination, meaning what he's gonna do, what his mind is made up to do. Go ahead. It's to gather the nation. It's to gather who? To gather the nation. All the people that ain't his people. All the people that put us in captivity. And it was more than just the white man. It was every nation had their filthy hands on God's children. Every nation, right. every people. Go ahead. That I may assemble the kingdom. That he may assemble the kingdoms. Go ahead. To pour upon them mine indignation. He said he gonna pour it on. You know what indignation mean? Righteous judgment. Right. Righteous judgment. You know how God judge? Death. That's the judgment of God. Death. Death. Forever. Go ahead. Was that it on that? Some more. Go ahead. Even all my fierce anger. Just in case you confuse. Even what? Even all my fierce anger. Come on. For all the earth uh -huh. shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. That's how the Lord is coming back. That's more than your pistol, your Glock, your ah. Uzi, your whatever can do. What? God is coming back and destroying everything and every nation when he comes. They're all gonna be put under subjection under your feet. They all gonna come worship at your feet. Right. That's in the Bible. Right. That's black man, black woman. You're gonna have people kissing on your feet or trying to. I don't want no nasty ass lips on my feet. But they're gonna be trying to come kiss at your feet. Please, please don't. That's, that's, that's the promise for you when you gather yourselves together back to God. That's the promise for you when you come back to who you actually are, the Israelites. God's chosen people. That's Royal. right. Royalty on this earth. Right. That's the promise. And it's going to happen. You're watching it unfold. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.